women marched by the thousands on Saturday on the Supreme Court, the Texas capital and cities across the United States to protest increasing state restrictions on abortion and advocate for maintaining a constitutional right to the procedure. The 660 demonstrations around the United States were largely sparked by a Texas law that bans abortions after about six weeks of pregnancy. The measure, which went into effect last month, is the most restrictive in the country. In the Texas capital of Austin, hundreds gathered in sweltering heat to denounce the so-called heartbeat law signed by Governor Greg Abbott. It bans abortion after cardiac activity is detected in the embryo, usually around six weeks. That is before most women know they are pregnant and earlier than 85% to 90% of all abortions are carried out, experts say. The law relies on ordinary citizens to enforce the ban, which makes no exceptions for rape or incest, rewarding them at least $10,000 if they successfully sue anyone who helped provide an illegal abortion. Washington protesters marched to the U.S. Supreme Court two days before the court reconvenes for a session in which the justices will consider a Mississippi case that could enable them to overturn abortion rights established in the landmark 1973 Roe v. Wade case. If the court overturns the precedent, abortion access would no longer be protected by the Constitution, leaving states free to ban it, limit it or allow it without restrictions. The justices, in a 5-4 decision on September 1, already denied a request from abortion and women's health providers to block enforcement of the Texas law. Under sunny skies, the demonstrators carried signs that said, bans off my body, think outside my box and keep your rosaries off my ovaries. About two dozen counter-protesters also showed up to press their case in support of anti-abortion laws. Rachel O'Leary Carmona, executive director of Women's March, said the number of marches would be second only to the group's first protest, which mobilized millions of people around the world to rally against former President Donald Trump the day after his inauguration in 2017. A rally and march in New York drew thousands of protesters, including actresses Amy Schumer and Jennifer Lawrence. Abortion rights advocates and the U.S. Justice Department have challenged the Texas law in state and federal courts, arguing that it violates Roe v. Wade. A federal judge in Austin on Friday heard the Justice Department's request to block the law temporarily while its constitutionality is challenged. 